Today, Mohammed bin Salman is the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, as well as the defense minister of Saudi Arabia, the founder of the Saudi oil company Aramco, and the chief of the royal court. It means that before he became prime minister of Saudi Arabia, he had total control over the Saudi government. He is the first younger and more powerful prime minister in Saudi history, a 37-year-old Saudi prince known as MBS around the world. MBS was nominated as the crown prince of Saudi Arabia on the 27th of September 2022. Let's know in this video video how Mohammed bin Salman became the king of immense power at such a young age. The world became aware of the power of Mohammed bin Salman on December 6, 2022, when the U.S. court acquitted Mohammed bin Salman of the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. According to many experts and analysts, Mohammed bin Salman pressured the American judiciary and made this decision in his favor. Even the judge who made the decision admitted that his hands were tied and he was forced to release the Saudi prince. After this decision, the American people were confused whether Mohammed bin Salman is so powerful that the American courts have now become subordinate to him. Many Western experts still believe that a senior journalist Jamal Khashoggi criticizing the Saudi government was brutally murdered by Mohammed bin Salman. Let us tell you that Jamal Khashoggi was brutally murdered in the Saudi Arabian embassy in Istanbul on October 2nd. Mohammed bin Salman was born on August 31st, 1985 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. He has only one wife, from whom he has three sons and two daughters. He was made an advisor to his father, who was the governor of Riyadh. The turning point in Prince Mohammed bin Salman's political journey came in April 2015, when King Salman added a new generation to his line of succession. King Salman removed his half-brother Mukrin bin Abdulaziz and appointed his nephew Mohammed bin Nayef as crown prince. Let us inform you that the first king of Saudi Arabia, Abdul Aziz bin Saud, who is also known as the founder of Saudi Arabia. He had six sons who ruled Saudi Arabia in turn because the mace of monarchy was not transferred from father to son, but from brother to brother. After King Abdulaziz bin Saud, his eldest son Saud was the king of Saudi Arabia from 1953 until 1964 after the death of his father. After his death, his younger brother Faisal was the king of Saudi Arabia from 1964 to 1975, after whom Khalid is the king from 1975 to 1982. After Khalid, King Fahad ruled Saudi Arabia from 1982 to 2005. After the death of King Fahad, Abdullah bin Abdulaziz became the king of Arabia from 2005 to 2015, and then after his death. In 2015, Mohammed bin Salman's father, Salman bin Abdulaziz, became the reigning king of Saudi Arabia, who still exists today. Because now, after Salman bin Abdulaziz, his brother should have been the king of Saudi Arabia. But he broke the chain and removed his half-brother Mukreen bin Abdulaziz and appointed his nephew Mohammed bin Nayef as the crown prince. This was a great trick of Salman bin Abdulaziz, in fact, he broke the chain in which the kingdom was transferred from brother to brother. This trick was completed without creating any issue. At the same time, he made his son Mohammed bin Salman the Minister of Defense at the age of 29. After this decision, in order to make access to the throne of Mohammed bin Salman, Mohammed bin Nayef was to be removed, which was not a difficult task for him. And within two years, he was forced to remove Mohammed bin Nayef from the throne of the crown prince and his own. Son Mohammed bin Sulaiman was nominated as crown prince. Mohammed bin Nayef was kept in prison for several days, and all his bank accounts were frozen. He was accused of corruption. In March 2020, he was jailed by Mohammed bin Salman along with his brothers. It was alleged that Mohammed bin Nayef and his brother were violating the government of Mohammed bin Sulaiman, and since then, they are still in jail. Ever since Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman came to the fore, there has been a stir in Saudi Arabia. Mohammed bin Salman has taken many steps regarding women in Saudi Arabia, including allowing women to drive, driving large vehicles, and starting businesses without men. During his reign, a woman became the head of Saudi Arabia's stock exchange, which is no less than an explosion for the religious scholars of the conservative country. MBS shocked the world when he introduced a plan to the country called Vision 2030, which will reduce Saudi Arabia's dependence on oil by 2030 shall be completed with government projects of which the minimum project cost shall be four Arab riles. Mohammed bin Sulaiman is very popular among the youth because he recruited educated youth from the West to replace the ineffective and senior people in the government institutions. 
and embarked on a number of new projects, including the Trivijana Project, an artificial freshwater lake that would combine natural scenery with beautiful scenery. A megacity event called Neom will be a city with more robots than humans, and will also build a terra yacht called Pangeos. Muhammad bin Salman has accomplished such feats that no other Saudi Arabian king has ever done. Concerts are being held in Saudi Arabia day by day, in which men and women are not banned from dancing together, and famous and well-known stars of the world also participate in these concerts. Even in Saudi Arabia, a film festival was also organized. In 2019, Mohammed bin Salman arrested 50 prominent businessmen of Saudi Arabia and accused them of corruption. Saudi Arabia's most famous prince Al-Walid bin Talal was one of these, who was fined about $106 billion. In reality, this was not to end corruption, but to protect Saudi Prince Mohammed bin Salman and his royal family. It was to show power and authority. To make himself and his country Saudi Arabia strong, Mohammed bin Sulaiman signed many agreements with other countries, including the China-Saudi Oil Agreement, which was signed on August 13, 2022, between the Saudi Arabian oil company Aramco and China petrochemical corporation Sinopat, which is the main. The goal of both countries is to support and help each other in difficult times. There was even an agreement that Saudi Arabia will now sell its oil to China in Chinese yuan instead of dollars, after Russia and Ukraine war. All the world leaders are coming to Saudi Arabia for oil, which shows that if anything happens in the Middle East, it must go to MBS first. The richest family in Saudi Arabia is the Al Saud family headed by Mohammed bin Salman. MBS has 12 siblings, and all follow the command of Mohammed bin Salman. If we talk about his magnificent and luxurious palaces, Mohammed bin Salman has many palaces, and he already has palaces in many countries including Louvicien Chateau, which is the most expensive house in the world, has some houses in Switzerland, London, Morocco, and France. They have luxury cars and the world's most expensive yachts. The way MBS is powerful in terms of politics as well as in terms of wealth is not less than anyone. It was thought that he would break his royal traditions as soon as he came to power. But the reality is that on the contrary, even today, he does not hesitate to spend royally like other Arab princes. Mohammed bin Salman came into the public eye when he bought the luxury serene yacht in France for $500 million in 2015 and the most famous painting in 2017 for $450 million. It is said that the painting was created by the very famous Leonardo da Vinci. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with your friends.